Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Essence. It is time for another spiritual story time. Uh, it's a segment that I've put on this channel where I tell you guys of a spiritual experience with the mystical or the paranormal that has happened in my life, really has happened. And hopefully it, it may inspire you to do something or give you ideas maybe for a channel of your own. You know, that is the whole point and everyone loves a good story. This story though, it, it's a little dark. So if you're a sensitive person, sorry. Okay, here we go, but you've been warned. A while back, my sister was dating this guy. He was not exactly a desirable chap. He was a lazy layabout. He would always do things to sabotage himself at work. He would constantly be out of work for something. And uh, eventually he just wasn't going to a job at all. And he was living with uh, my parents. It was my parents, me, and my sister living in the same house at the time. And he was living there too in her room. So uh, my dad wasn't having any of it. But he was definitely, the whole family didn't like him. And they made it known he, he just wasn't a... He had a negative energy about him. He was not a good guy. One day, I was getting ready for work. Uh, we heard my sister and this guy arguing. And they were really yelling. And it was terrible because they, they did this all the time. It was sad that my sister couldn't see at the time how bad he was. But she's with a good guy now, so just... You know, in case you're wondering, you know, she's away from him now. Um, they were really yelling. My dad was about to go in there and, you know, say, hey, keep it down. But before he could, all of a sudden, we heard my sister screaming. And she ran out of her room crying and grabbed the phone. This guy had cut his arm with a blade. And she had called 911. My dad was so mad. He didn't care that, you know, what was happening. He was like, are you happy now? Are you happy? What have you done to yourself? There, were, I didn't see the room. I didn't want to see. But the I heard the room was covered in blood. The Her blankets were all covered in blood. So they had to do a, a, a lot of washing. So eventually the ambulance came and took him to the hospital. And later on, she was saying that he was detesting her putting on makeup. Makeup out of all things. Is that any reason to cut your arm over? But anyway, he survived, but he had to have like a cast on his arm, you know, to heal the wound. After that, uh, soon after, they broke up. But even after he was gone, something changed in her room. Something, something bad came. It started a few weeks, about two weeks, after the incident. And uh, believe me, they were over pretty fast after that so he was already gone but I remember the first time it happened the bathroom was right next to my sister's room so I was going to the bathroom and the whole time it felt like someone was staring at me they were really like eyes were burning in the back of my head. No one was home at the time. My parents were out. My sister was at work. I don't know what was going on. At first, I'm like, what is that feeling? And then when I got out of the bathroom, I felt like this 
almost like someone was right next to me. But I didn't see anybody. And it didn't feel good. I turned. There's my sister's room. The door was closed. But... It felt like someone was in there that didn't want you there. And I remember that. And uh, then, it was a little while later, I was still pretty new to the spiritual, so I didn't really, I didn't know if it was something that needed to be dealt with or if I even could deal with it. But um, this channel used to be on another one but I eventually deleted all the old ones off there and put in new ones on its own channel but there was one channel uh, one video that I was doing where I was teaching people how to get rid and dispel negative energy and I was doing it outside at the time in the backyard and my sister's window was right above I remember as I was doing the video and people could see in the video that I was going like I was talking but then I was like you know kind of looking back every now and then and eventually you know I was like because it felt like someone was up there staring at me and it was hatred I actually felt negative energy like someone was despising what I was doing and wanted to put a stop to it it unsettled me and when I got back inside I went past her room and that feeling followed me eventually I had had enough so after doing a lot of research reading a lot of my books and um, going on different websites to try and see you know what I could do what it could be and the thing that scared me was that a, a portal had opened up in my sister's room and possibly a negative, possibly demonic entity may have tried to come in. But I don't know what it was. I just know that something negative was in that room. And it happened after he cut himself. So I took my Book of Shadows, which had my spells and prayers. And I took my lemon salt mixture that I had blessed myself, as well as a large chunk of amethyst. And I went in there and I started performing a spell. And uh, I was basically saying anything negative here that is trying to make me feel uncomfortable, you are no longer welcome here. Your invitation is revoked. You are no longer welcome in this space and you will have no power here. And I did that for as long as I could. And then afterward, I had the uh, water in a bottle. So... I took a little bit onto my hands and started flicking it on every, uh, I did it in all four corners of the room as well as every wall from top to bottom. I, I did that and I was flicking it, you know, while reciting the prayer again. And, you know, I'm like, you know, you must leave this house. You are not welcome here. I dispel all your negative energy. And um, I did this for a good hour. And then afterward, I took the piece of amethyst I did the um, technique that I taught you where I moved the energy through my arm and into the crystal and I was like, I did this, basically flinging the energy to all four corners of the room and, you know, on all of the walls up and down and I continue with the prayer, you are not welcome here, you must leave, you are not welcome here. After I did that, after I finished the prayer, Everything felt better almost immediately. I no longer felt that evil in her room. My sister, for some reason, did not feel anything. I told her about it, and she's like, uh, I never felt anything. I'm like, I don't know why you'd... Maybe because I'm more sensitive to the energy 
than her, especially because she was living with the bad energy for a while. Maybe she had grown accustomed to it or something. I don't know. But I told her I felt something bad. I I went in your room and I, I did a little prayer, you know, and it's gone now. And she's like, oh, okay, thank you. And um, she's trying to study magic, but she hasn't really gotten anywhere with it yet. She hasn't read her book. She's been working. She's been busy. So um, I've taught her a few things, but, uh, you know, I've offered to help her out. But that was a time when I feared that our house could potentially become haunted by something. Whether it was a negative poltergeist, um, well, what am I saying? A poltergeist, because usually they are negative. Um, a demon, or possibly a portal opening up where both demons and negative human spirits could enter. I was so afraid. I didn't even know if what I was going to do was wor uh, would work, but I was like, you know what, I gotta try, and I gotta really believe that it's going to work, and it did. Um, we lived there a long, long time before we moved into our grandparents' house, so um, for a while there was nothing there, so. I had confidence in myself that what I did worked and that helped me with my future experiments with magic and energy. And that's what's like, oh, that works. I should write that down and I should incorporate that the next time I have such a problem. Um, I've kind of had a thought of helping people with negative spirits, you know, uh, maybe setting up, I don't know, a website or something where uh, people can post like, hey, I'm having a problem with a haunting in my house. Could you possibly investigate and help me get rid of it? But I don't know if I'd be able to handle that, especially things on a demonic level. Those are things you must be really prepared for and knowledgeable. And I don't know if I could do that. I'm not saying this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just saying I've thought about it before. Maybe one day when I have all my, my life together and all. But right now... I don't think it's the time. Um, but I am here for friendly advice. Uh, I can advise you if your house is haunted or if you are having a problem with the paranormal or the mystical. I can help. And if I can't help, I will tell you. But I will advise you as best I can. So I I'm not really one to give up on people. So if you have a problem such as this, and you need my help with, maybe my story can help you, you know, find a way to deal with it, you know, and uh, safely and successfully. Thank you guys so much for uh, listening in on this little story time. I can assure you there will definitely be more. So hit the bell button so you don't miss any of those. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and share this with as many people as you can. Uh, if you, there are any friends, family, co-workers who are interested in learning how to better themselves spiritually, please suggest my channel to them. I would love to have the ability to help people on a wide range. Um, thank you very much. Blessed be.